Hi y'all, this is So So Blessed. Welcome to the Blessed Place. How y'all doing? As for me, I gotta tell y'all about what's been going on in my world. I'm sharing with y'all because y'all know we family over in the Blessed Place. And we started a church ministry about um, in July 2008. And now we're gonna fast forward to about a week ago. We have church. After church, we go have dinner at family house. We come back to the church and find that there's water outside the church. We're like, what is water doing outside the church? But anyway, come to find out that um, when we were at church previously, someone had um, flushed the stool and the stool overturned. Um, and I think it was a child, but you know, can't blame the child because it was one of those toilets you had to you had to jiggle on the handle because you know how we rig up stuff we had to jiggle on the handle anyway the toilet overflow water was all in the foyer in the reception area in the sanctuary it just totally destroyed the carpet so um, my husband and some of the boys a young man from church had to rip the carpet up so we said oh lord we'd already planned on taking the carpet up but we said when we get some money to replace the carpet well my husband said, you know what, baby, I'm not even going to get upset because we we're already going to place the carpet and maybe the Lord is just getting ready to bless us sooner than we thought. Okay. Let's fast forward a few days um, after that. My husband get the news that his uncle passed, his favorite uncle, uh, his father's brother. Now, even though his uncle was about 85, 86, had a nice long life we thank God for but you know yet and still that still hurts when a family member passes I don't care how old they are so we had a funeral to attend for the weekend now prior to this we had already been invited to a church service over in Daytona Beach but the church service somewhat conflicted now with the unexpected death of um, my husband's uncle so we had to be at the funeral 11 o'clock Saturday morning and the church service in Daytona Beach 6 p.m. So we said, okay, we're going to make the funeral and then get on the road and we can make it by 6 p.m. church service. Saturday evening we're headed back, trying to get back for the 6 o'clock service. Uh, we have our son use the other vehicle, Explorer, to pick up everybody um, for church service. The young man that wanted to attend church. We're on the road. We're getting close to Daytona Beach. My husband says, call the boys, find out their status, where they are. I call three of the cell phones. Nobody answered. I said, I don't know why they're answering. They must be going through a bad area. Three cell phones, nobody answering. Unbeknownst to me, that at the very same time that my husband had the unction to check on them, the car, the Explorer that they're in, is rolling on I-4, flipping four, five, six times. The vehicle landed on the guardrail, upside down, crushed, totaled. The boys called me about five minutes after I tried reaching them. And my son says, Miss Deidre, because I'm his stepmom, that's what he calls me. Miss Deidre, the vehicle overturned. Where are you? We're on I-4. Oh my God, is everybody okay? I don't know, I don't know. We're not dead, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we, we turn around, we get we uh, call the people, tell them we're not going to make it to church service. We try to get to our son and the other young men. There's six of them in the vehicle. We can't get there fast enough because the traffic is bumper to bumper for about two miles long because people were rubbernecking, unbeknownst to us, because they're rubbernecking looking at our kid's car accident. We finally get up there, can't get up there fast enough before I jump out of the vehicle before my husband can even put it in park. I'm going up towards the highway patrol troopers. I'm devastated, overwhelmed because I see the, my vehicle and I'm going to show you what this vehicle looks like. And I wish I could upload this picture, but I can't find my USB cord. So I'm going to do the best I can here. That's my vehicle. And my battery would be low, so that's the most footage I could get. But that's what the vehicle ended up. Do you see? This is the guardrail. That's where 
the hatch came open that's where the there is no um, no more window in there that's what the vehicle looked like so I'm running up there towards the trooper and he's telling me to get back and keep it moving and I'm telling him that's my vehicle and those are our kids so he tells me you know that I could come on and it's like how are the kids where are the kids he said they're all six been transported to the hospital oh my god now I'm crying even more and he says but ma'am I think they're okay they I think they I don't I didn't see any no any catastrophe nobody's um, missing any body parts or anything I think they're gonna be okay but for precaution we send them all to the hospital where are they they're in hospital Daytona we get to Daytona check on them thank God everybody's okay unbeknownst to us at the time I didn't even realize that one of the young men had brought his younger uh, cousin 12 year old ejected from the vehicle thrown about 50 yards from the vehicle but thank God he was thrown before the vehicle actually hit the guardrail because he was sitting in the back and could have been ejected into the guardrail. Ended up that the little boy only required six stitches on his arm. Everybody was released that night, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. X-rays turned out okay. Um, they're sore, back hurt, shoulder hurt, neck hurt, but X-rays were okay no stitches or anything required except for the little 12 year little 12 year old boy y'all know God is good God is so awesome he is so awesome I was so grateful that these boys are okay grateful there are no words to convey or to express my thanks and appreciation to God that these kids that our kids are okay these were young men 17 18 19 20 years old headed to church on a Saturday not headed to rob someone, not headed to um, a club, not headed to sell drugs. No, they're headed to church on a Saturday evening. And this accident happened. You know, so we could lament the fact that, Lord, we are good people doing good things, headed to the right place. But no, it's not about, you know, good things happen to bad people and bad things happen to good people so it's all about how we react to what happens to us and I choose to react in the way of saying Lord I thank you I thank you that although this happened it did not turn out to be a tragedy although I have lost my vehicle that we had all paid off and it's a total loss and I definitely don't have any money to get it fixed but Lord, I thank you. I thank you anyway. You know, but I was just feeling all down and, you know, because of the whole thing, and like I said, the loss of the vehicle, and not to mention that the key to the expedition was in the Explorer. So when the Explorer overturned, we can't find the key. We went back to the scene of the accident. We went to the tow company. We couldn't find the key. But yet, even in the middle of our storm, the Lord bless where my sister says, um, Deidre, you know, she, she has AAA and she works for AAA. So she said I'll get a locksmith to get make your key and it was gonna cost like $125 but she got $100 off because of her membership and because she's employed there um, then the $25 that I did have to pay but one of my other girlfriends said Deidre I'll pay that um, y'all God is just so good back to the carpet one of the deacons in our church said I want to be able to bless the church and I will buy the carpet for the church and right now they're at church putting down the carpet y'all know in the midst of your storm the Lord will just lift you up and he'll give you some encouragement y'all God is just so good oh he's so awesome and I just love him and I just thank him and I just appreciate him and I just wanted to encourage you guys that although I am so so blessed although this is the blessed place but being blessed doesn't mean that you don't have ups and downs and you don't have tragedies and you don't have you're not in the valleys you don't have lows uh, you don't get discouraged it just means that you understand that although these things happen you are still blessed y'all God is good I just thank him and I love him and I love you guys and I hope something that I said have encouraged you because I know that you are going through but let me tell you don't lose your faith don't lose your hope because 
things will get better. Just put your trust in God. Put your trust in God. Y'all be blessed.